Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and my husband Jerry and I own and operate Ori James Apparel. You can find us on Etsy and Amazon. Um, and today my daughter Lara is here with us because we are going to be showing you start to finish how to make a DTF um, shirt or hoodie or anything, but we're gonna show you on a hoodie today. Um, she's picked out a design for hers. So let's get started. is I am in the Digital Factory um, software here and we have her design. She's picked out Bluey on a unicorn. And at this time I have it set to about eight inches wide and about six, six and a half inches tall. Um, that's about good size for her hoodie. And what I like to do is come into the color adjust here and we're gonna go to photo and we're gonna change these settings so that the colors pop a little bit more. So for the colors, I'm just adding um, a, magnus, a max of five. We're gonna go to brightness eight, saturation eight, and we're gonna push chroma all the way up to 20. And then from here, we're going to come over and click file. Nope, not file. We're gonna click our design, right click our design and your design is printing we're going to heat our heat press to 310 degrees and we're going to have our time set at 20 seconds and then for finishing once we get our adhesive on we're going to have this heat press just hovered above here so that we can fit a piece of paper between it you can barely see there but we're going to have this at 245 at 300 seconds And so once we have our transfer printed, I like to come and cut off the excess so that we're only working with what we need to. And you can see here that the white toner is printed on the back side. And in the front, we have nice vibrant colors, nice clean image. And now we're going to put on the adhesive. So here's our white adhesive. And we're going to take our transfer, scoop up just a tiny bit, and run it over our design. And kind of fan it out so that excess falls off. And we'll do that one more time. And this time we're gonna hold it and flick what would be the front of the design so that all the excess falls off. Now we're at our heat press. We've got it up to about 250 right now, and I've had it down so that it's heating up this bottom platen right now, and that will make sure that we are heating our design and melting our adhesive evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up. This likes to stick, swing it over, put our design in, make sure this is on top, and we're not gonna close this. You don't wanna get the ink and the adhesive, especially on the top of your platen. I've done that few times now and it is a mess to clean up. So we're going to start our timer and let it melt. And while our adhesive is melting, we're going to come over here to our clothing heat press. And again, I have this set at 310 degrees for 20 seconds. Going to get our hoodie nice and flat. Push it in. We're gonna press it just for a couple of seconds to get any excess moisture out and wrinkles. About five to seven seconds because it's a hoodie. And we'll just let that sit while our adhesive melts. All right, so our transfer is done. I'm gonna take this out. Try not to burn yourself in here. You can see how it looks like an orange peel. That is a nice and evenly melted adhesive. So it's now ready to go on our shirt. Right, so here we are, we've got our shirt, our hoodie pressed here, nice and flat. I'm gonna take this design and fold it exactly in half 
and just pinch the top so that it marks the center. And here on my hoodie, we're gonna go a couple finger widths down so it's more towards the center. This is about three finger widths. I'm going to center it here and we're gonna push it in and press at that 310 degrees for 20 seconds. All right, it's all pressed to our hoodie. I'm going to transfer this over here so that it can cool. And now most of these transfers are either hot or cold peel. You can do either um, is what I mean rather. And so, but I find that they peel better the longer you let them cool. So we're gonna let this cool for about a minute. That's about all that it takes. Then we'll come back and peel it off and get it finished. All right, so our transfer is nice and cool now. We're gonna go ahead and peel it off. Just find a good spot here. And once it starts going, it will usually come right off. And there's our design, but we're not done yet. So we're gonna come back over to our heat press. Lay it on here. We're gonna cover it with some parchment paper. And close it for about 10 seconds. You can go a little bit longer, you can go a little bit less. It's just kind of what works for your heat press. All right. And there we have it. This design is nice and soft to the touch. You can stretch these and it won't like break the design. Um, and it's very durable. It holds up in the wash and the colors are just nice and vibrant. It doesn't have the papery feel of some other transfers. DTF is definitely the way to go.